In today's episode, we are taking the one minute makeup challenge. So in one minute, we are going to see how many products we can actually apply. If I'm able to look presentable in a minute, I am sorted for all my video meetings. I can just roll out of bed, do my makeup in a minute and look presentable. True. Well, I'm going to be applying a concealer and try applying the mascara and the lipstick as well. Ambitious. I think I'm going to start with the lip and cheek tint uh, to just brighten up my face or mascara to open my eyes up. And then if I have time, then I'll go with the lipstick and powder my face to make my skin tone look a little even. Great. So let's begin. Mascara now. So am I. I just applied one coat of mascara. Yeah, like just quickly feathering my and lashes. the lipstick. So let's see. I'm powdering my face instead of concealing because I feel like it's faster. Well, not bad actually. Yeah. I think uh, the blush on my face just instantly gave me a pick me up, and yes. the tint also gives this like nice natural flush. And the mascara, of course, opened up my eyes, and I managed yeah. to apply powder under one eye. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did try to conceal my eyes. I think I look a little awake. You do. You do. <laughs> and the mascara has definitely helped me, and the lipstick. I think I'm almost done. Little was left, just yeah. like about to finish. Yeah, so, so maybe tried. one minute, ten seconds, and we would have done. Yeah, well. yeah, we would have done a great job. So we really enjoyed taking this one minute makeup challenge. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it too, and let us know what your one minute makeup look would be like. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. In today's episode, we are going to be taking the reverse makeup challenge. <laughs> So my order usually is foundation, concealer, then I move on to eyeshadow, then I apply a little bit of blush and contour, and then I finish it off with lips, mascara, and powder. Well, I think I have a pretty much same order. So I'm using the MAC mascara. I'm gonna start with lips is always the last thing that I do. Now I'm gonna move on to doing my mascara. So I usually do my contour, blush and highlighter. So I think I'll go with the highlighter, blush and contour later. And then the base. Roll. I'm gonna be doing the same oh thing. Oh my god. This is a task, Shikha. Alright. So I'm gonna go with my highlighter first. I'm using my liquid highlighter which I have. Highlighter's done. I'm gonna now move on to contouring my face. So I'm using the creamy blush right now. I'm going to move on to my blush now as well. I'm done with my blush. I'm going to go ahead with my contouring. I'm done with my contour right now. I'm going to go ahead, do my eyes and finish it with my base. I can feel my eyelashes coming in the way and they're getting Same coated here. with the uh, eyeshadow. So this is tricky. So usually what I do is I first apply my foundation and then concealer. Um, so right now I'm going to go conceal and then do my foundation. So I'm done with my eyes too and what's great about applying my makeup in this reverse order is that I have a little bit of eyeshadow fallout which is going to get concealed because I'm going to do my base now. So what's happening is my blush is mixing with the concealer and it's all over the place. It's probably because you applied a cream blush. Yes. So the creams are mixing together. Yeah. Thankfully I went for powder. So I'm done with my concealing as well which means I'm going to go ahead and apply some foundation which also probably means that I'm going to get rid of everything that I've done on my face which is blush and contouring. But let's see. So for a safer side I have taken a very minimum quantity. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to work around the blush and contour and applying my base around it and not on it. Yeah. Let's see if it yeah. looks even.
Well, I'm done with my look. Check. Yeah, that's it. I think we look quite presentable. What yes, do we do. <laughs> it's not as big a disaster as I thought it would be. But it was fun doing my makeup in reverse. Would you do it again? I don't think so. Yeah, <laughs> I think I like my order. I don't yeah. think I'll do it again. So I think it was a fun challenge. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. In today's episode, we are going to be taking the mystery box challenge. So we have a fish bowl here which has a couple of chits which has our parts of our face written on it. And then we also have a mystery box over here that has a bunch of random makeup products. So whatever facial feature we get, we have to pick up a random product and apply that on that facial feature and make it work somehow. So do you want to go first? I don't mind. I'll start. Okay. Okay, here we go. I have lips. I'm going to pick up a random product now. So <laughs> I got a blush. For Not my lips. bad. <laughs> okay, I am going to try and make this work. So what I can do is I can spritz a little bit of water on this and then try to make it work like a lipstick. So I have the water spray here. I'm just going to spray it on the Take an eyeshadow brush, wet it, go over the blush. So surprisingly, this blush is giving a good payoff as a lipstick and it's giving kind of like this metallic look to my lips. Yeah. That was me. It's your turn now. Well, uh, okay. I've got nose. <laughs> tricky one. Well, uh, this is very tricky. It is. Okay. <laughs> you got an eyeshadow. I have got an eyeshadow palette. So I'm just gonna find a brown shade so that I can contour my nose probably. Yeah. Luckily it has a deep brown. I'm just gonna go with my fingers. This is really dark. I have to blend it, so I'm just going to take a brush and blend it off. I have to blend a lot. It has worked for me. Looks good. She got lucky. So this was our mystery box challenge. I hope you guys had fun watching us play with makeup. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. In today's episode, we are going to be exchanging our makeup bags. So I have some of my personal favourite makeup products in this pouch where I'm going to give Shikha to create a look with these. I have the same challenge for you. Let me show you what I have for you over here. I'm a big fan of lip and cheek tint. I've stopped using powder blush so I'm going to challenge you to use this. And I'm also a big fan of glossy lips nowadays so I have this nice gloss over here. And to top it all up, of course, I have a mascara. Well, uh, I'm a big fan of brown eyes, so I have a brown eyeshadow palette. Second thing is a bronzer. So I love chiseled nose and cheeks, so I think this one gives you a good contour. I'm not really a big fan of blushes, but I love highlighters. So I have the liquid one as well and the powder, so whichever you want to use. And of course, the last thing is the mascara to complete the eyes. I'm not going to forget my lip balm, which is my personal favourite, so I love using lip balms. Alright then, so here you go. let's go. Bright colours. So I'm going to start with contouring my face. I do miss my blush, but I think this is adding a nice warmth to my face. I'm now going to move on to this brown eyeshadow and try and create a nice brown and burgundy smoky eye look. 
I'm going to go ahead with the lip and cheek tint. Since there is no contour, I'm just going to apply my blush around my nose so that I get this sun-kissed look. So Vaishnavi loves to bronze and highlight. I am missing my blush, but I'm going to go with this liquid highlighter and apply it to the high points of my face. So Shikha mentioned that she loves gloss. I'm going to try it out. Next, it's time for lip balm to nourish my lips a little bit. So, did you like playing with my makeup? Yes, I think I love the lip and cheek tint. I'm going to carry. It's very handy. I also really liked using some plum and neutral tones for a change. The bronzer was great. I do miss my blush, but I like the highlighter. And of course, I love the lip balm because I love gloss, like I said. Yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed watching us doing this challenge. And see you guys next time. Bye-bye. For more fashion tips, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon.